Shavua Tov, Gemar, Chatima to everyone. Baruch Hashem, we've made it this far. We are through Rosh Hashanah. Now, Rabotai, we have an opportunity to be able to go into Yom Kippur and also Rabotai, Oshana, Rabbah. The Chaya Adam, towards the end of the Savior, it brings down that a person should be very confident that, you know, he's Benoni and he's, everything is good. A person should take into consideration not knowing exactly what was decreed upon him, and he should try to take these days between Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, try to take it on a more serious note, increase mitzvot, increase Torah, increase tzedakah, increase chesed, do as much as you can do according to your ability. But he says more importantly, a person has to try to do to show on certain things that he does or that he did throughout the year. So a lot of us will think that it's maybe sleeping with a married woman, he brings this down, or killing people, or doing with the Zara, or not keeping Shabbat. He says it's actually more than that. It's even the small, small sins that we don't pay attention, where in reality they are big. Some of them are Rabotai Lashon Hara, Bittol Torah, Avat Lashon Hara, and so on and so forth. Not Davin with Kavanah, not saying Barachot with Kavanah. A person has to try to go ahead and try to look into these things and try to better himself, better himself in the word of the Hashem. On every Yom Kippur, we know that there is a custom that we have to start this program in the Halach, in the Shulchan Aruch, that the Shulchan Aruch, even though he says to stay away from using chickens or roosters, nevertheless, the Rabotai, the Ramah says we should use it. Bottom line, Halakha, if you can get a Shochet, a a person that slaughters the chicken in your house, or maybe you could get a shochet that's doing it, wherever you're going to go and do it with the chickens, where there's not a lot of people, maybe when it's in the beginning of the time when he's slaughtering, then you should rather do it with chicken than more with money. However, Rabotai, the Bishop and a lot of other posts can bring down, when there's a lot of people and there's too many chickens to slaughter or roosters, the... Shochet, the one that slaughters the chicken, he gets tired. So he's not really there. So when he has to check the knife, he's not really checking 100%. So there's a lot of problems that can actually come out from there. So there we're going to tell the people, it's better to use money. In any event, if you are able to do it early in the morning, after Sidichot on Erev Yom Kippur, the, so if it comes out that uh, Shabbat is Yom Kippur, meaning Friday night is Yom Kippur, that means... Friday morning, any time from 1 o'clock until almost around 5, uh, 5.50, like around there, that is the best time to do the kaparot. With the chicken, you can do then, you can continue doing it also afterwards, uh, after shacharit and so on and so forth. However, Abutai, we need to be very careful who the shochit is and so on and so forth. A person that cannot do it, let him use money, the amount of how much the chicken costs, I don't know how much, $15, $20, and let them do it like that for the family. In any event, whether you're going to use the, the chicken, whether you're going to use the money, a person has to be very careful in how you go about the procedure of doing the kaparot. So Rabotai, the first one that has to do it is the balabai. If the father is doing it for the wife and the children, he first has to do it for himself. He has to atone for his sins, and then he can start with the wife and the children, not the wife and the children, and then himself. First, we want him to be clean, and then we tell him to do it for the wife and the children. How does he have to go ahead, and how does he have to turn? So a lot of times, unfortunately, people turn clockwise. They go like this, right? They go clockwise. So Rabbeinu Tzavosh you have to go counterclockwise, going backwards. Three times Rabotai, and when you say the language, very important, he says when we say the language of Zechalifati, Zetumurati, Zekaparati, that is not the, perf not that it's wrong, but that's not the preferable way of saying Zechalifati, Zetumurati, Zekaparati. Why? Very, very important because you should say like this, Zechalifati, Zetum, I'm sorry, take it back. A person should say it like this, Zechalifati, Tumurati, Kaparati. Why is that important? Because Rabotai, when we take the word Khalifati, Tumurati, and 
Kafarati, we come out to something very important. Khalifati, Tumurati, Kafarati. We come out to a very, very important word. I hope you guys see it. Okay, let me see something. All right. So we have over here Khatakh, right? Khat ze Khalifati, Taf Timurati, Khaf Kaparati. Now, if you're going to say ze Khalifati, ze Timurati, ze Kaparati, you're not going to be able to spell out this name of Khatakh. The thing with this name of Khatakh is what does it do? That is the one who's appointed and giving you life. So when you're saying ze Khalifati, ze Timurati, ze Kaparati, you're not really pronouncing the angel that is supposed to give the person life. So it's very critical that when we say that, we should say, Zakhalifati, Timurati, Kaparati, and have in mind that that name of Khaf, Tab, and Khaf Sufi, that's what's going to prolong the person's life because he is given that task of giving people longer life. Rabotai, this is going on Ervion Kippur.